Here, Vava sat math question. Okay, let's go to the question. In the xy plane, a line with the equation 2y equals to 4.5 intersects a parabola at exactly one point. If the parabola has equation y equals to negative 4 times x squared plus to bx, where b is a positive constant, what is the value of b? Okay, so the equation of the line is given, that is 2y is equal to 4.5, and the equation of the parabola is y equals to negative 4 times x to the second power positive bx. Okay, so if I solve the given system over here, I'll be getting one solution because the question says uh, the line uh, with the given equation 2y is equal to 4.5 intersects the parabola over here at exactly one point. Since there is only one point of intersection uh, for the given line and parabola, so when I solve the system of the equation of line and equation of parabola, I'll be getting only one solution. Okay, so to solve for this system, first let's solve for y in the equation of the line. For that, I have to divide both sides by 2. So now let me divide both sides by 2. So 2, uh, 2y over 2 is equal to 4.5 over 2. So this 2, 2 will cancel out. I get 4y is equal to, when I divide 4.5 by 2, I'm getting 2.25. Okay, here I have solved the equation of the line for y. And I'll do the equation of parabola solved for y. So to solve this system, we can set uh, y equals to y. So for this y, let's take the stuff from the parabola over here, that is negative 4x squared positive bx. And for the y on the right side, let's take the stuff from the equation of the line, that is 2.25. Okay, now, uh, so here we have a quadratic equation in the variable x. Uh, usually we will be writing a quadratic equation in the form ax squared positive bx positive c equals to zero. That is, we have to get zero on the right side. So to get zero on the right side, I have to get rid of this 2.25. For that, I subtract 2.25 from both sides. So when I subtract 2.25 from both sides, I'm getting negative 4x squared uh, positive bx negative 2.25 equals to 0. Okay, so when I was trying to solve the given system, I'm getting the quadratic equation negative 4x squared positive bx negative 2.25. So even if I solve this quadratic equation, I must be getting only one value for x. So because actually uh, I got this quadratic equation by solving the system and already we have discussed that the system must have only one solution because a uh, line and parabola intersect at only one point. So the quadratic equation that I get by solving the given system must have only one solution. Okay, so to check uh, whether the quadratic equation has one solution or two solutions, what we need to do is we have to uh, compare the given quadratic equation uh, with ax square positive bx positive c equals to zero. So when I compare these two, I'm getting a is equal to negative four and uh, b is equal to the same b I have, I have over here. And for c is equal to, I'm getting negative 2.25. Okay, so if this quadratic equation has only one solution, then the value of the discriminant b square negative 4ac must be equal to zero. So whenever we have idea about the number of solutions of a quadratic equation, we have to find the value of this discriminant. If the quadratic equation has only one solution, then the value of this discriminant b square negative 4ac must be equal to zero. Okay, now we have to plug in the values for b, a, c from this quadratic equation over here. So for b already we have b only. So, uh, so it has to be maintained as it is and the negative four times the value of a is negative four and the value of c is negative 2.25. Okay, now in this equation, we have to solve for b because uh, according to the question, we have to find the value of b and also b is a positive constant. Okay, now let's solve for b in this case. So b square, so negative times negative will become positive, positive times negative will become negative. So four times four is 16 and 16 times uh, 2.25 will become 36, so I'm getting b square into 36 equals to zero. So to solve for b, I'm just adding 36 to both sides because I have to isolate b. Negative 36 past 36 will cancel out. I'm getting b square equals to 36. So mine is to solve for b. So for that, I have to get rid of the square that I have for b. So for that, I have to take square root on both sides. So to get rid of this square, so the square root and square root cancel out, I'm getting b equals to, so whenever I take square root for a number, so the uh, sign in front of the square root will be positive or negative, so we have positive or negative, square root of 36 is just 6. So we get b is equal to 6 or negative 6, but the question says b is a positive constant, so we can ignore the negative value of the 6, that is negative 6. So the value of b in this problem is 6.